Hey, what up? It's OP from Serato. So you've just downloaded and installed Serato Sample to use it inside of Logic Pro. I'm gonna get you all set up so you can start making beats with it right away. Let's go. First off, make sure to install the component plugin for Logic Pro. Logic Pro uses the audio units version of Serato Sample, not the VST version. So the component version is needed for the audio units plugin to work. Let's open up Logic Pro. Then go create a new track and select to make it a software instrument. In the details section, underneath the instrument drop-down menu, we'll navigate to the audio units instruments and then find Serato and choose Serato Sample as stereo. Now that we've created the instrument track, it's time to see how Serato Sample works. Let's load up a sample by pressing load and browsing to find one or just dragging a sample in. If you need any royalty-free samples to get started with, you can download some starter packs from the Serato website. Check the link in the description. Let's use Find Samples to set up some cue points to start working with. I'm using my computer's keyboard to control Serato's sample. So I'll turn on musical typing for keyboard playing inside of Logic by pressing Command K. Or if you prefer to use your MIDI controller, you could trigger the cue points that way. I also want to make sure that I'm playing in the right octave range. I can use the letters Z or X to move up or down octaves to match the C1 to D sharp 2 range, which is recommended for Serato Sample. And that's it. You're all set up and ready to explore Serato Sample inside of Logic Pro. There's a link in the description for videos and articles to use Serato Sample. If you want to learn more or need help, please visit serato.com forward slash support.